Big time playoff implications coming off of this NFC East matchup. Ryan Wilson here to further explore. Ryan, we're going to take a look at those standings because big change coming off of this result. Dallas now in the left column. And on top of everybody there, other than the 49ers, two seed at 10 and 3. 10 and 3 in the five seed, your Eagles. Now a wild card team by way of that tiebreaker. It's essentially a handful of teams playing for that six and seven spot at this current juncture. Where do you want to draw the line? Like, like we do this in we do this in our golf coverage all the time. How far back is too far back with three weeks to play? Well, producer uh, Scott Riley is a Giants fan. You're a Bears fan. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, they're the bottom. They're in the hunt. You're telling me there's a chance. Made the graphic. So. That may be a little too far south for me. I think where you have to start the conversation is at number six with the Minnesota Vikings and which teams that are on the outside looking in right now, whether it's the Los Angeles Rams, who had a spirited game today against uh, the Ravens losing in overtime, whether it's mm -hmm. the Seattle Seahawks, a spirited effort without Geno Smith with my guy Drew Locks slinging it. That's the two for one that we're looking at because I think Green Bay, if they continue to play like we've seen them play, they're going to be the team. Mm -hmm. Jordan Love has been a lot of fun to watch recently. Tampa Bay is going to backdoor their way into that division. It feels like if not, them, it'll be another 6-7 and seven team, whether the Falcons or the Saints. And then the question becomes, can the Vikings sustain what they've been going through? They had to bench Josh Dobbs today. They won 3 nothing in a game that no one wants to see uh, on replay. So I think you're talking about Rams, Seattle, for that Minnesota spot. Everything else feels like it stays the same unless the Giants or Bears get red hot and win out. Bears Packers week 18 at Lambeau. Just gonna, for scheduling purposes. There. For scheduling purposes, Bears Packers week 18 Lambeau. Flex it. We'll see if anything is on the line between those two. Surely it will be for the Packers, the Bears. Uh, that is yet to be seen, but another win here for Chicago. Let's shift to the AFC side because that playoff picture, a bit more convoluted because eight and five is the going rate in the wild card. I mean, you could see a full swap out. Browns, Steelers, Colts all inside the picture here through week 14. But talent like the Texans, Broncos, I mean, Jake Browning's Bengals playing some good football. The Bills with a massive yep. win over the Chiefs. I'm not going to ask you to place three teams inside, but of those teams in the hunt, who is the bigger hunter in your eyes? Well, I think Joe Flacco's Browns are in, and that's how good I feel about that team, especially okay. the defense. And then it's the six and seven teams. I think the Colts and Steelers are going to be out. And then the question becomes of the four teams in the hunt at seven and six, who are we looking at? I feel great about the Bills. The question was their tough schedule. They just went into Kansas City and won a really important game for them after an incredibly long and tough week for one Sean McDermott. You talked about Jake Browning and the Bengals and what they're doing. The defense is playing better. Jake Browning looks like Joe Burrow is inside. He's running the, the controls from inside the Jake Browning machine. And you have to love what Denver's doing with Sean Payton and Russ Wilson uh, in terms of it's not pretty to watch. But they're finding ways to win games. And, of course, C.J. Stroud and Houston, they lost today in a game they, they couldn't have lost, uh, you would think, against the Jets and Zach Wilson. So I'm going to go with the Bengals and the Bills, who are 10th and 11th, as you sit here, replacing the Steelers and the Colts just based on how these teams are playing well and Cincinnati and Buffalo and how the Steelers and, and Colts appear to be reeling. He is Ryan Wilson, and he's got like three or four more shows before we let him off the hook. So I'm <laughs> going to let him off the hook here. Ryan, thank you.